There are other beings out there trying to contact us. And if you listen closely, enough for skeptics too. Scientists are always hungry for knowledge, but sometimes their quest for knowledge causes such a stir that they sometimes have to take a step back in shock. Many of these astonishing discoveries are irrefutable photo proof of jaw-dropping phenomena our best scientists couldn't have dreamt of. As you would expect, there are many parties that seek to keep such proof secret, including the government. As many of them are being slowly declassified or leaked, they call to question many things we thought we knew for sure about the past and life on our planet. Which historical photos are stopping scientists in their tracks? How many of these have scientists been able to give a plausible explanation? Join us to examine the top 20 newly declassified historical photos that terrify scientists. Number 20. Moon Pyramid This particular image was captured by Apollo 17 during its final journey to the moon. Surprisingly, NASA originally categorized this image as blank. However, after undergoing retouching, it became evident that the image was not entirely devoid of detail. By increasing the contrast, observers could discern a pyramid within the photograph. This discrepancy between the initial labeling and the revealed content led to speculation. There have been talks about hidden civilizations on the moon that have not been made public by NASA. Apollo 17 marked NASA's final human crewed mission to the moon, taking place in December 1972. The photograph that sparked the debate was taken by Eugene Assernan while on the rover. An internet user pointed out that if you looked at the sequence of images captured before and after this particular photograph, the pyramid structure could be just an overexposed image of the rover seat. As usual, with NASA and other government agencies, we never really know the whole truth and are often at the mercy of speculation. Number 19. Time-Traveling Hipster A photograph taken in 1941 during the reopening of the South Fork Bridge in British Columbia has sparked claims of a time traveler. The man captured in the photos is dressed in modern clothing and wearing sunglasses that were not typical of the 1940s. The camera he held appeared to be more advanced than what was available during that period. The viral image has led to the man being called the time-traveling hipster. However, further research has provided alternative explanations for the man's appearance. His overall look could still fit within the style of the 1940s. The sunglasses he was captured wearing, although appearing modern, actually originated in the 1920s. Although initially mistaken for a printed t-shirt, Glitter examination reveals that he is likely wearing a sweater with a sewn emblem. This ensemble was a common attire for sports teams at the time. The design resembles that of the Montreal Maroons. They were an ice hockey team popular in that era. The rest of his clothing seems to align with the fashion of the time, albeit more casual than others in the photograph. While his camera appears smaller and more advanced, Cameras of similar size have been manufactured since 1938 by companies like Kodak. The case of the time-traveling hipster gained attention as a viral internet phenomenon. It was even presented as a case study at the museums and the Web 2011 conference in Philadelphia. Luckily, scientists were able to figure this one out after careful and long examination, unlike our next discovery. Number 18. Hook Island Sea Monster in 1964, a photograph depicting a strange creature made the rounds. French photographer Robert Sarek took this photograph. It showed something that looked like a giant snake resting on the seafloor. This creature was found off the coast of Queensland in Australia. Speculations arose suggesting it could be a long tarp or a similar object, but no credible explanation has been found for this enigmatic photo. The creature exhibited notable features such as a pale region on its tail resembling a wound. A ship's propeller possibly caused this wound. This wound may have resulted in the creature seeking refuge in the shallow bay. Its eyes were on the top of its head and its pupils were slit-shaped. The creature was mostly black with brown stripes and smooth skin. It lacked fins, spines, or visible teeth within its white mouth. There was some skepticism about the person who took the photograph. Surek was reported to have had unpaid debts and an untrustworthy reputation. However, this character assessment is deemed by some as unimportant. Some people suggested that the photo could have been doctored. This could be achieved using props such as a plastic bag for naval experiments, a deflated skyhook balloon covered in wheat, or a custom-shaped expanse of weighted-down plastic sheeting. 
While the true nature of the creature in the photograph remains a mystery, various theories and explanations have been proposed, though none have provided a definitive answer. Number 17. Mars Beacon of Light NASA's rover exploring the desolate Martian landscape captured an intriguing image that puzzled observers on Earth. In the photograph, a peculiar light shines from the valley's far side. This raised questions about the supposedly uninhabited planet. Per usual, speculation immediately arose. Could this light be an indication of life on Mars? The images transmitted by the Curiosity rover ignited a captivating debate. All of this leaves us with more questions than answers. The distinctive bright spot was visible in two photos captured on different days by Curiosity's right-hand navigation camera. Notably, the flash did not appear in images taken by the left-hand camera, which is a stereo camera. Does this unidentified light suggest the presence of extraterrestrial life? If the answer is affirmative, this forever changes the notion of our solitude in the vast expanse of the universe. Unfortunately, NASA swiftly dispelled any notions of an alien presence. They stated that the mysterious bright flash in the Martian photos is likely not a signal from extraterrestrial beings. NASA, however, attributed the phenomenon to either a well-positioned reflection of sunlight or light passing through a camera housing a dent on the Curiosity rover. Although this incident might not be evidence of life beyond Earth, it shows how excited scientists can get about the possibility of the existence of aliens. Number 16. Fairy Circles of Namibia and Australia Theory Back on Earth, we must now examine the fairy circles of Namibia and Australia. These are circular patches of barren land that range from 7 to 49 feet in diameter. In the arid grasslands of southern Africa and Australia, these circles have puzzled scientists for years. Despite extensive research to determine the origin and possible creation of these fairy circles, it remains uncertain. Numerous hypotheses have been proposed, but none have explained the formation of the fairy circles. Some believe that a specific termite species is responsible. Others attribute the patterns to natural vegetation competition. They believe this phenomenon extends beyond the range of any species of termites. Either way, this complex puzzle has had scientists scratching their heads. Trying to unravel the mystery of fairy circles has proven challenging, especially considering the variations observed in different regions. The circles in Australia are formed on sand, while the circles in Namibia are formed on clay. Some botanists have dismissed theories involving termites, radioactive soil, and plant toxins. Others have doubled down on that theory. They propose that residual plant toxins may be responsible for the barren interiors of the circles. Termite casts have been discovered within all fairy circles in 2012. Radar investigations also indicate the presence of a moist soil layer beneath them. However, the definitive answer to the fairy circle mystery remains elusive. Although lesser known than our next discovery, scientists are working hard on uncovering the origin of these weird circles. Number 15. Bigfoot Roger Patterson and Robert Bob Gimlin originally captured the most famous film of the Bigfoot on October 20, 1967. This 60-second long footage has become an iconic piece of Bigfoot mythology. It has generated ongoing scrutiny, analysis, and debates. The film features an unidentified subject claiming to be Bigfoot by the filmmakers. The Bigfoot footage has faced numerous attempts to validate or debunk its authenticity. Patterson passed away in 1972. Throughout his life, he firmly believed in the reality of the creature captured on film. Gimlin, Patterson's friend, consistently denied involvement in any hoax related to the footage. For many years, Gimlin refrained from discussing the subject publicly, except for a few appearances. However, he started giving interviews and participating in Bigfoot conferences around 2005. Academic experts in relevant fields have generally deemed the film lacking scientific value. They claim that it offers no substantial or supporting data. The most commonly proposed explanation is that it was a hoax. Expert consensus tends to dismiss the credibility of Bigfoot's existence. The claims are that belief in the existence of a large ape-like creature like Bigfoot is often attributed to hoaxes, confusion, or delusion, rather than genuine sightings. Zoologists claim that the only information we have gotten about Bigfoot has been fabricated from thin air. This does not stop many firm believers in Bigfoot. Some of Bigfoot's biggest fans include scientists who hope for definitive proof of its existence. 
But the Bigfoot Sage doesn't end here on Earth. The lore continues into space as our next discovery entails. Number 14. Bigfoot on Mars This is a small section of a panorama captured by the Mars Exploration Rover Spirit in November 2007. Spirit took this panorama from a top home plate and a humanoid figure can be seen within it. Some people have labeled it as a Bigfoot sighting on Mars. Others believe it could indicate the presence of aliens. The idea of a creature typically found in the United States and Canada appearing on Mars raises questions. Could it be the same species? Did a different species evolve on Mars? Was there some travel involved between planets by the species in earlier times? Some say a reasonable explanation exists for this supposed Bigfoot sighting on Mars. They claim that the image is an optical illusion caused by pareidolia. Pareidolia refers to the human tendency to perceive patterns and recognizable shapes in random stimuli. The perception of faces and other shapes where none exist is a natural occurrence resulting from how our brains function. You might have experienced something similar when you see a human face in the clouds. In this case, the zoomed-in view of the image might be an oddly shaped rock. The Bigfoot in question is quite small. By using calculations to estimate size and distance, it becomes apparent that the figure is no more than about 6 centimeters tall. It is also positioned less than 5 meters away from the rover. But we're not done with space discoveries just yet. Number 13. Solway Spaceman this shot was taken in 1964 by Jim Templeton in England. It became known as the Solway Spaceman image. A figure resembling a spaceman can be seen in the photo behind Templeton's daughter. Templeton stated he didn't see anyone else when he took the photo. This fueled concerns of an alien presence. Several theories have been proposed, including the likelihood that the figure was Templeton's wife, standing with her back to the camera. Others believe the spaceman could have been a mystery time traveler. However, this explanation is not compelling. The media frenzy that surrounded the image drew attention from all across the world. It sparked heated debates all over. Despite the excitement, there is no solid evidence to prove the existence of a spaceman in the shot. The photo could be an overexposed image of Templeton's wife, who accidentally walked into the shot. Our next discovery is also a family photo that sent observers and scientists into a frenzy. Number 12. Cooper's family photo. Taking a family picture to commemorate moving into a new home is not a strange tradition. What appeared in Cooper's new home family photo is nothing short of strange. The picture was taken in the 1950s and it featured a clear image of a body falling from the ceiling. This photo was investigated heavily, but a reasonable and plausible explanation was never found. Some called it a smear and others called it a lens flaw. However, the similarity to a human figure could not be denied. A smudge in the shape of a person is too much of a coincidence. Some speculated it could be the previous owner's ghost in the photograph. The image was shared online in 2009. The publicity caused it to gain further traction, but people doubted its authenticity. Some claimed it was a double exposure as well. The true nature of the image remains uncertain, leaving room for speculation and intrigue. Our next shocking photo was taken just 26 years after this one. Number 11. Mars Face A photograph taken by Viking One in 1976 also sparked notable speculation. The image known as the face on Mars was captured over the Cydonia region of the Red Planet. The image portrayed a massive humanoid face carved or constructed on its surface. Initially, NASA scientists attributed the face to an optical illusion created by shadows and pareidolia. The suggestion that the face was evidence of hidden Martian life quickly led to rampant rumors and conspiracy theories about a NASA cover-up. The image became a topic of discussion on radio shows, talk shows, tabloids, books, and websites. It was a trending debate, heightened with the assumption of a cover-up. It wasn't until more than two decades later that additional images of the region became available. The Mars Global Surveyor flew over Cydonia in 1998 and captured further photographs. The fresh images confirmed NASA's initial assessment. The formation turned out to be a Messer measuring, with the facial features being mere shadows cast by its shape. Number 10. UFO on the Moon Four years earlier, in 1972, Astronauts captured a brief video showing an object resembling a spacecraft from another planet. The object briefly appeared near the moon and quickly moved from the camera's view. The spacecraft then reappeared four seconds later. 
This object was speculated to be a spacecraft either of extraterrestrial origin or from competing nations. A team of experts thoroughly analyzed the footage and made the informed conclusion we're also going to agree with. They believe that the object in the Apollo 16 film was most likely the EVA floodlight or boom. Number 9. The Tether Incident The Tether Incident occurred in 1996 during the Space Shuttle Columbia's STS-75 mission on the fourth day of the 15-day mission. The crew initiated a satellite deployment along with its 12-mile-long tether. This rope was a cable designed to conduct electricity. According to NASA, the satellite was smoothly lifted from Columbia's cargo bay. However, the situation took an unexpected turn. Around five hours into the satellite experiment, the tether unexpectedly broke, causing the satellite to float away. Following the incident, an enhanced version of the original NASA footage emerged on the Internet, revealing UFOs approaching the tether. The rope is surrounded by bright dots along with larger white circles. This footage has generated considerable curiosity and debate among enthusiasts, and no definitive answer is known at this moment, much like our next photo. Number 8. Costa Rica Stone Spheres On a small island in Costa Rica, there are more than 300 stone spheres. These spheres are associated with the extinct Dikis culture. The Diki spheres vary from a few centimeters to over two meters in diameter. The Diki people created these spheres by shaping large boulders onto rough spherical forms using dense rocks as hammers. The final step involved polishing the surface of the stones with sand to achieve a smooth finish. Interestingly, there is no mention of the large stone spheres in the accounts of the European explorers who arrived in the region in the 16th century. Reports from an expedition led by de Ribeira in 1570 also failed to indicate indigenous settlements. This suggests that the once thriving Dickey communities had abandoned their homes or perished for unknown reasons. The existence of the spheres remained forgotten until the 1930s. They were rediscovered while the jungle was being cleared for banana plantations. The exact purpose of these spheres remains unknown to this day. They continue to be subjects of study and speculation, with theories ranging from artistic and ceremonial purposes to astronomical or navigational functions. Thankfully, scientists were able to explain the next image with 100% certainty. Number 7. Mysterious UFO on Mars this photo shows Mars's terrain strewn with boulders and a cloudy sky. The sky, however, had an unknown entity within it. Internet users speculated and made amusing comments about the nature of the object. These comments ranged from an alien spacecraft to a UFO, an ant, or a plastic bag. The truth behind the dark object, on the other hand, is far less intriguing. The fact in the sky is not a real thing. It is a camera artifact known as bad pixels. These artifacts are created by microscopic debris particles that have landed on the camera's detector. It's a widespread problem with imaging devices, and these artifacts are usually only visible when the camera takes pictures of the sky or other flat surfaces. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory at NASA addressed the image's assumption, noting that the dark object is a product of camera artifacts and does not reflect genuine objects in the Martian sky. A NASA imaging scientist agreed that similar artifacts exist in most or all images and are a well-known phenomenon. Number 6. Fresno Nightcrawlers In the 2000s, a grainy CCTV camera captured an intriguing sight in Fresno. The image captured an apparition that resembled a pair of ghostly pants striding across a man's front yard. The story revolves around a Fresno resident named Jose who was awakened by his barking dogs and caught a glimpse of the mysterious figure through his camera system. This enigmatic entity, now known as the Fresno Nightcrawler, gained attention and notoriety years later in 2011. Similar figures resembling the Fresno Nightcrawler were caught on camera in Yosemite National Park. As the legend of the Fresno Nightcrawler spread, it garnered significant online interest and even received coverage from the History Channel. Speculation surrounding its origin ranges from extraterrestrial to mythical. Many consider it a potential alien entity, while others believe it's a cryptid. Although the original video capturing the Fresno Nightcrawler has yet to be debunked, subsequent videos claiming to show the creature have surfaced online, most of which are being dismissed as hoaxes. A notable YouTuber named Captain Disillusion demonstrated how such phenomena could be doctored. He filmed himself walking down an alleyway and then manipulated the footage in post-editing to remove the top half of his body. Over the years, reports of the Fresno Nightcrawler have become less frequent. Number 5. 
The Perry Rees Map The Perry Rees Map stands as one of the oldest post-Columbian world maps in existence. Drawn in 1513, its commendable level of detail has intrigued and perplexed academics for years. The major reason for this confusion is the recently discovered North and South American continents. The map's accuracy and depiction of Antarctica have sparked various myths and legends surrounding its origins. This is because Antarctica was not officially sighted until 1820, roughly 300 years after the creation of the map. Individuals like Graham Hancock believe that the map's advanced nature suggests the involvement of a remarkably skilled cartographer ahead of their time. Others delve into more speculative theories, proposing the possibility of extraterrestrial involvement in its creation while orbiting the Earth. These theories have led to speculations about earlier discoveries of Antarctica and even the existence of pyramids on the icy continent. The story behind the Perry Rees map blurs the boundaries between reality and fantasy. It has fueled modern mysteries and captivated the imagination of many. Not only have scholars and cartographers been intrigued by the map, but in the 1960s, speculation about its origins took a paranormal turn. The map is a porterland chart lacking the conventional latitude and longitude lines found on modern maps. The Perry Rees map features lines called azimuth instead. These lines radiate from compass roses or azimuthal projections placed at various points on the map. Auk compass roses were commonly used in maps of that era. The Perry Rees map is an ancient document that continues to generate fascination and debate while it offers valuable historical insights. Its unconventional features and depiction of Antarctica have sparked a blend of reality and fantasy, giving rise to interesting theories. Number 4. Black Knight Satellite in 1954, retired naval aviation major and UFO researcher Donald Kehoe stated that the U.S. Air Force had detected two satellites orbiting Earth. However, during that period, no country possessed the technology to launch satellites, leading to speculation about the origin of these objects. Some conspiracy theorists have even suggested that one of the satellites is a 13,000-year-old extraterrestrial artifact. The Black Knight satellite conspiracy theory emerged from these reports, proposing that an extraterrestrial spacecraft is in a near-polar orbit around Earth. They also assume that NASA is allegedly covering up its existence and origin. This theory combines various unrelated stories into a single narrative. One specific claim associated with the Black Knight satellite theory is a photo taken during the STS-88 mission. NASA cataloged this photo as an image of space debris. Space journalists consider it probable debris from a lost thermal blanket during the mission. Skeptics have pointed out that Kehoe was promoting a UFO book at the time. Due to this, the news stories may have been written with a tongue-in-cheek tone, not intended to be taken seriously. The next image, though, is not as easy to dismiss. Number 3. Staircase Ghost Ralph Hardy took the picture of the Tulip Staircase at the National Maritime Museum in England. The photo was taken in 1966, but the developed version shocked him. The photo revealed a shrouded figure climbing the stairs. Experts who examined the original negative confirmed its authenticity, rolling out any signs of tampering. The vicinity of the staircase is rumored to be haunted, with reports of unexplained footsteps often heard in the area. Although we may not know yet what the image contains, we are hopeful that scientists will figure it out like they have many of the images on this list. Number 2 mysterious stones on Mars. We've yet to see any definitive proof of life on Mars. Considering the planet is barren, we're unlikely to find any radiation. The extreme cold and the lack of oxygen make the chances of life growing on Mars slim. However, what if we were wrong? This intriguing question was raised when the Mars rover discovered something never seen before. 3,528 days into the mission, the rover discovered something strange. It took a photo that revealed a rock formation that wasn't there 12 days prior. Scientists were confused by these stone structures, and the mystery has yet to be solved. Are aliens hiding and playing with us? Or is there a simple explanation for the magic rock? Either way, scientists, or even NASA, have had no success explaining it. Our last discovery finds scientists once again confounded by a phenomenon that took place on our blue planet. Number 1. The Tunguska Event's Cosmic Collision The Tunguska event, which occurred on June 30, 1908, in a remote region of Siberia, is one of the most significant cosmic collisions in recorded history. 
The event was named after the Tunguska River, near the explosion's epicenter. At approximately 7.17 a.m. local time, a massive explosion rocked the Tunguska region. Eyewitnesses reported a blindingly bright blue-white light in the sky, followed by loud explosions. The force of the blast flattened an estimated 80 million trees over an area of 2,150 square kilometers or 830 square miles. Seismic shockwaves were recorded as far away as Europe. In the decades following the Tunguska event, much of the information surrounding it remained mysterious. However, over time, various governments declassified documents related to the event. These documents include eyewitness testimonies, scientific investigations, and aerial reconnaissance photographs taken during the Cold War era. Many of these mysterious images have yet to be explained. This opens our eyes to the fact that there is so much we are yet to understand about our planet. Which of these unexplained images touched you the most? Do you think we will finally get answers to some of the unexplained mysteries? Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. For more mind-blowing videos like this, click the video on your screen.